Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at a another vehicle from Spin Tires and this is called the UAZ3972 and it's by the same user that we had a look at the last one which was USSR. Now USSR has actually got a few models that are available that replaces the standard UAZ in the game and they... I'm going to say this, but look, the models look absolutely awesome. It's the same thing, though, with each of the models that I can see so far that I've been having a look, because I've been going through the list and having a look at them. Um, I'm going to do a road test for this, but look, as I said for the last one, the detail of the model itself looks awesome. If you have a look here at the actual tr the, this van here itself and I think it's meant to be just like a normal sort of van driving around it's just got a medical thing on the side there or it, it's because it's not quite an ambulance but it could be for like a mining side or something like that I'm not sure but I really do like the UAZs that they have they have a sort of Russian feel about them and they look military I mean, they're rough, tough, and I like them. I like the looks, and I love the, the detail of this vehicle that he's put in. The only thing, again, the same thing as the last one that I did, which was a 370. This one has got tinted windows, and you can't see inside the vehicle. So, in a way, it's a little bit cheating, because... There's no inside detail and there's no driver in there, so you're cutting out half the options. So basically, the score that I give is going to be half. Well, it's going to be less anyway. Another thing that I'm going to point out that I do not like in any mods, it's not just this guy, USSR, I'm not picking on him, I'm just being straight up, is this box for a shadow. It's wrong. See how the other trucks there have a little shadow under the tire and then a little shadow underneath the vehicle? That's how it should be. Not this big black box. That is wrong. It seriously is wrong. It looks wrong. It, it just... It's wrong. It, it's just not right. So, look. Lose it. Seriously, just lose it. Because you can see that there is a shadow there to the right of the vehicle. Let's see if I can get that there. There's the cursor. To the right, there's where the proper shadow is. If you just leave that one there, it'll be fine. Don't need this big black box. It looks stupid. But look, other than that, let's take this for a test drive. And I got a feeling that this is going to have the same engine sounds as the last UAZ, the 3170. Um, don't, as I said, I'm in Australia. We don't have these UAZs. So it could well be that this just does sound like that and these just rinsed and repeated the same sound so but if it does sound like that it's got the same engine then that's fine but anyway let's go for a test drive and see if we can go around the test track not through the test track this time because we'll you know I don't think it's actually going to go through the mud so let's just check out the engine first of all if, it's, if I can start the engine hang on a second start the engine Right, so there you can hear, right now, you can hear the actual default sound for a lot of the vehicles in the, the actual UAZ uh, that's being used. But if we accelerate and get out of advance mode, I've got the handbrake on. So you can hear there, there's the actual custom sound. But we're bogged already, so... <laughs> Let's put the diff lock on. And yeah, we got through, so that's good. And I'm just going to take it up to this mud up here. Uh, and then we'll drive it around the track that we normally take. So I want to see how it goes with diff lock on and diff lock um, all wheels on. Look, it is getting through really well with just diff lock on. That is really good. 
I mean, I bogged it there. I turned the steering wheel to make it, to get it bogged. And there we go, it got out. Hey, that's great. Now, let's try it. Let's take off diff lock. And we'll put all wheels on. No, it is just a flounder. Look at that. That is just, that is not all wheels at all. I don't know what's happened there. So all wheels and diff lock, and let's see if we can get her out. Um, no, it's stuck. Oh dear. All right, we're getting out, we're reversing out, so. But that made a real mess in the ground, so. Um, look, with the options, there is no other options for this, so. Uh, again, like I said with the 3170, I think that this could do with some more options like some tires or, or a, a cargo rack or, or something. Something other than just the standard. So let's see how we go, just out of curiosity. And I'm going to just drive it up here and see if we can actually go down this little section here. I'm going to dodge those trees there because they're a nightmare. And with all wheels and diff lock on, let's see how we go. Oh dear, dearie me. Oh, we're tipping, we're tipping over. Mayday, 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 mayday. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I think that um, it's just the same as the other UAZ that I tested, so. Now I'm going to have to try and pull this out, so <laughs> that's funny. Alright, so let's see the winch points. Oh, USSR, what are you doing? Look, the winch points are way too far away from the vehicle. It is... that's just wrong. It really is. Oh dear, that is a shame. That is a real shame. So let's see if we can pull it upright, pull it out. It looks like it's going to be a winch all the way. Right, change the winch point. I'm going to go there and go all the way over there. You notice that the winch points are actually longer, a little bit longer now. I thought they were going to make them shorter, but no, they made them... I, I reckon they're a little bit longer. Oh, come on! Well, it looks like this vehicle's nice and light, so that is good in a way because that means you can get around a lot easier. And oh, 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 that's not good. <laughs> that is not good at all. So let's see. I don't think we're going to be able to start that engine. No, that is kaput. Release that. Is it going to tip back up? Can somebody get out and push me up, please? Hello? Hello, anybody? Push me up. Alright. Oh, look! Hey, we started! Yay! Oh, let's just hook that winch point there. Pull that back up. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's what we want. Okay, grab that. Hook that over there. Pull! Pull! Oh! Well, you know, we made the same mistake again. Are we going to get out of it this time? No, I don't think so. We can't even turn the wheels, nothing. Can we? Oh, yeah. So let's head back to the garage, because I think we are safely stuck. All right. So, we're back to the garage and we've reset. Now, we're just going to do this different now. We Normally, I would drive on the track only, but with this vehicle, I think it's going to be exactly the same as the previous one, and I'm just going to go around it. So, there we go. It's like a little bongo van, this thing. I think, it, I, I do like this. I mean, I don't know what it is. It's just, 
I seem to be having a lot of fun with this if I stay away from the track. So, look at the wheels, the way they go right up in the guard. That is funky. Oops. Oh, we missed that tree. Yay. Oh, 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 crap. So, for some reason, I'm over again. Um, it seems to be a bit top heavy. So, that's interesting. We'll start that engine up. Get those winch points. Winch to that tree there. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay. So let's get back onto the track and see how we go. At least we haven't got a great deal of damage points yet. And let's see if it's going to go through this mud area here. Oh dear. No. It's... <laughs> it's... It's had it. It is... Oh no! Oh, look at that! It got through! Wow! Oh dear! Oh, 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 we'll be breakdancing in a moment. Come on, truck! Come on! Oh! Okay, so that's three times. Three times, you're out. Right, so, look, I, I have to say that this is definitely, I'd give it, look, I'd try it. I actually prefer to have the 3170, um, because it just seemed to get through everything better, and I don't know, this one, it's, the other one I didn't topple over once. This one I've toppled over three times, and I went over the same area, so I think that this vehicle is not as good as the 3170 so USSR look if you're watching mate look I'm terribly sorry mate but look it is a toppler it really is and that's gonna end up a lower score um, because I know you can adjust it so that it bounces back up so look I'm gonna if I was to give this a score I'm gonna have to say that this is look I'll give you extra credits for the detail but it's definitely a five. It is... I think it's would be a more fun option than the normal UAZ, but only by a just. So, but I'm giving you extra points because of your level of detail. You have got a nice keen eye there. I like it. But look, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. We're on our side and we are done. <laughs> So if you want to test this out for yourself, the link is down below and check it out guys. But look, keep those tires spinning and remember, game on! Thanks for watching YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. We have the, just over here, we have the UAZ 3170 for spin tires. And just under that we have where Junior and I play Christmas Shopping Simulator just down there. And if you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching YouTubers and remember, game on!